Hello everyone, welcome to Econometrics, I'm Sebastian White. In this video I'm going to show you how to calculate summary statistics and use the if structure in Stata. This is going to allow us to calculate summary statistics within certain groups in our data set. First thing I'm going to do is load up our cars data set. The main function we're going to use today is called summarize. Summarize will pull up our summary statistics. So for example, let's summarize the price and that's going to tell us the mean and standard deviation, min and max of our price variable. As with most data commands, you can abbreviate this. I'm going to abbreviate this to sum. This is possible because no other command in Stata starts with SUM, so there's no ambiguity here. So if I put sum price, it's going to summarize price just like it did before. You can summarize whatever variables you want. For example, we could sum horsepower. And this is all well and good for looking at, but we might want to use these numbers in other calculations that we do. To help us do that, Stata stores the results of the last command you ran. And so for me, this is sum horsepower. I'm going to use display, or DI for short, to pull out some of these values. If I just ran a summarize command, I can do DI and then R, and then in parentheses, put the piece of information I'm looking for. So for example, R mean will give me the mean from the last sum command I did. I can also get the standard deviation by doing RSD. If you ever need these numbers, you always want to use this technique instead of copying and pasting from the results window because Stata is going to save a lot more precision than what we can see there. And this will help us not run into rounding error. Now let's try to summarize another variable. Let's say origin. This didn't work. The reason for that is origin is not a numerical variable. If we go into the data browser, we can see that origin here is words. And in the data browser, those words show up in a maroon color. This means that Stata is interpreting this data as a string. In programming, a string is just a set of characters, not a number. Of course, you cannot take the mean and standard deviation of words. So it's just something to be aware of. We are going to work with string data quite a bit going forward, so just be aware of that. One thing we can do with string data is tabulate it. Tabulate basically just gives us a list of all of the values that we can see in that particular variable. You can tabulate any variable you want, but it's going to be the most helpful when you have a small number of possible values. So let's tabulate origin. You can see here that we've got three values, possible Asia, Europe, and USA, and it's going to tell us how many of each show up in the data and then what percentage of the total that each of those are. You can use tab as an abbreviation for tabulate. You can tabulate numerical variables also. So for example, seating, you can see all the different numbers of seats that uh, appear in these cars. Tabulate is useful for figuring out what categories that you have in your data set. We can then think about breaking down our data set into those categories when we are calculating summary statistics. So for example, let's say we wanted to know the mean and standard deviation of price, but only for the American cars. We can use the if structure to set that up. If is always going to be followed by some logical statement. In our case, we want to know if origin is USA. This is something that people frequently get tripped up by. When we are doing a logical statement, we always use a double equal sign. If you remember from our previous video when we were doing generate, a single equal sign is for an assignment, meaning that it is setting the value of the thing on the left to the value on the right. That is not what we're trying to do here. We are trying to ask, is it equal to or not? That is a logical equals, and for that we always use the double equal sign. And then we want to know if origin is equal to USA. But remember that USA is a string, not a number. And for strings, we always have to put quotation marks around it. And you can see that once I close the quotation marks, it turns maroon, just like those values that we saw in the data browser. 
if you're using if with a number, you do not use the quotation marks. And we can see here that Stata just calculated the mean and standard deviation just for the American cars. It only used 55 observations, which we can see up here is exactly what we wanted. We can also do this with numerical variables like seating. So we could summarize the price if seating equals six, for example. So this will tell us just the mean and standard deviation of the six seat cars. We can also use greater than or less than. So we could do some price if seating is less than six. Or we could do the same thing with less than or equal to six and so on and so forth. Another way that we can do these calculations by category is with the by structure. In order to do this, we always have to sort the data set first. So we're going to put sort and then we'll do origin, sort by origin. And then if we go to our data browser, we can see that it is all of the Asian cars, all of the European cars, and then all the USA cars. This is going to happen in alphabetical order. Once we've sorted, we're going to use the by structure and we're going to write by origin colon sum price and that's going to do all three of these for us just like if we had used the if structure. So you can see that for origin equals USA, it's those 55 observations with the same mean and standard deviation we got earlier. That is all for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Thanks for watching.